The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is celebrating the 50 years of Indonesia and South Korea bilateral relations this year. To mark the occasion, the ministry had organized an Indonesia-Korea morning talk at the ministry offices earlier today. The morning talk served as a forum to highlight the achievements in the decades of cooperation between the two Asian countries, as well as a brief look on how the cooperation may be strengthened in the coming years. This year, the Indonesian Ministry of Foreign Affairs is celebrating 50 years of the country's relations with South Korea. The occasion saw the ministry organizing an Indonesia-Korea morning talk at the ministry offices on Thursday morning. The talks held at the ministry's office featured representatives from major South Korean companies. It also had the Indonesian ambassador to South Korea, Gandhi Sulistianto, and South Korean Ambassador to Indonesia, Lee sang Deok, delivering opening remarks. The morning talk discussed the dynamics of the Indonesia-South Korea relations at length, reflecting on their rich history and shared values. The forum also celebrated the many recent achievements that both countries had, such as a 60% trade volume increase in 2022, which amounted to 22.6 billion US dollars. Indonesia becomes South Korea's seventh largest trading partner with more than $1 billion of South Korean investments in Indonesia. Ambassador to South Korea, Gandhi Sulistianto, spoke about his priorities for the Indonesia-South Korea bilateral cooperation going forward, which includes more cooperation in the creative industry, as well as increased support for Indonesian migrant workers. We will try to increase our trade transaction between Indonesia and Korea and then also uh, on the P2P relation I think the migrant workers from Korea it will be increased into Korea this also we try to improve our cooperation in terms of the cultural events and especially in the creative economy we encourage Korea also to bring some Indonesian artists into Korea and make also a joint production uh, for the uh, Korean drama and Indonesian Sinatron and also a uh, singer from Indonesia do it with the Korean singers. So this is something that we trying to implement. During the event, the official logo for the 50-year celebration was also unveiled. The logo and slogan was the result of a competition held by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs last November, which received more than 200 entries from both Indonesia and South Korea. The logo will be used for all related events for the rest of the year. Arya Siddhartha and Reza Anindita for See Today. This is